Hello and welcome to another screencast on Maple 15. In this screencast we're going to talk about how to define mathematical functions in Maple 15. Let's jump right in and see how to define the function y equals x squared plus x minus 1. The thing to know here is that Maple has a specific syntax for how to define functions so that we can evaluate them or plug things into them later. To define y equals x squared plus x minus 1 as a function, First of all, make sure your cursor is inside the dash box and then type the following, y, then a colon, very important, then equals x, then go to the arrows palette and select the small right arrow. Then type x caret, which is above the 6, 2, a right arrow, use the right arrow key on your keyboard to navigate out, then plus x minus 1, and then hit enter. We've now defined y to be a function that accepts input and produces output according to the rule on the right side of the arrow. This is what we'll call the arrow notation for functions. Let's suppose we wanted to find the value of this function at x equals 10. Well, we would just type y of 10, just like you would write it by hand, and hit enter. Maple treats y not as a variable, but as a function that accepts input and produces output according to a rule, and it calculates that output for you. You can evaluate functions at symbolic input as well. For example, to evaluate y at the expression t cubed minus t, just enter in y of t cubed minus t and hit enter. And you can expand that further using a context menu. You can even compose functions. For example, let's define another function, u equals 1 over x, by typing u colon equals x, then arrow, then 1 over x. We've now defined u as a function that accepts input and produces output according to a different rule. Now type y of u of x to get the composition. Note that in the expressions palette, there's a function definition option that will make this process a little simpler. Let's go there and define a function e to the negative x times cosine x using the palette. First of all, select the function definition option from the expression window to insert the form into the worksheet. Let's give this function the name g. We'll hit tab to go to the next blank. And for now, let's use the variable x for input. Hit tab again. And now let's enter in the function itself. Click on e to the a in the expression palette. And then enter in negative x to the exponent. We use tab to get to that exponent, by the way. Use the right arrow key on your keyboard to get out of the exponent, and then type times, remember Maple doesn't recognize juxtaposition for multiplying, then cosine of x, and then hit enter. We've now defined a function g that accepts input and produces output according to this rule. For example, we can see that g of 1 is about 0 0.2. And I can get the derivative of g by right-clicking on the output from the function definition step, then select differentiate. We could also get the derivative using the expression palette, but perhaps the easiest way to get the derivative is just to type in g prime, that's an apostrophe, of x and hit enter. So that's a basic tour on how to define functions in Maple. Thanks for watching.